Hey, how's it going guys? In this video, I'm going to build an image liquid transition where we may call it an image liquid distortion. So basically there, there are going to be two images and whenever we will hover over the first image, the second image is going to fade in. But before the second image is going to fade in, there's going to be the third image, which is going to show up in a, in a liquid effect animation kind of thing. So uh, I thought that's going to, I thought that's really beautiful and cool. I've seen that on other websites and I decided to make a video uh, on that. Uh, I thought it may be useful for some of you guys. I'm going to show you a demo. Uh, I'm going to use a few libraries in this video. So uh, you can find the URLs, the links to these libraries in the description as well. Uh, there's going to be the link to the source code. So if, but if you want to follow along with me, I'm going to write everything from scratch. So either way you can have the, you can, you can have every, all the uh, resources you need. So that being said, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so here's the demo. So whenever I hover over this image, this is the first image uh, because I was talking about two images. So this is the first image. I hover over the first image and you see the second image is fading in, but it's fading in and in between these two images, there's like a liquid effect. But this liquid effect is actually, it's done by using the third image. And I will show you, I will show you in this video how all, all this stuff works. Um, first of all, I have an, another folder. This is this is uh, this is an empty folder. I have my VS Code open in this folder. So um, I have the image one and image two. You can find any any kind of images you would like. Um, the sizes don't have to be the same, but you may want to find something similar so the the effect is kind of beautiful too. Okay, so here in this folder, I'm going to create a new file which is going to be index.html, and in this file. I'm going to start with an HTML5 uh, HTML5 page structure. Um, in my body section here, I'm going to have a div class wrapper. And in here, I'm going to have another class, which is going to be app. And this app class is where all the magic is going to happen. So I'm going to leave it empty and I will work on this whenever I will create my uh, JavaScript file. But before I'm gonna create, before I'll create my JavaScript file, I want to import a few libraries. First library I want, I want to import is the following: is the um, should be twin twin max. It's this one. Two point. Make sure this is gonna be this link. But if you go to this page, make sure you choose the right version because as for right now, I'm using the 2.1.3, and you grab the twin max um, JavaScript library. I copy the tag, and I'm gonna paste it right below my wrapper class and then the second library I want to import is the tree.js tree .js library and you can find it on cdnjs.com as well and the tree.js is here so I'm going to copy this tag from here make sure I copy it and I will paste it here and there is another library and this library comes from the main repository of this the whole thing. So the main library is under github.com slash robin hyphen dela slash hover hyphen effect. So this is the main library where they have all the instructions and all the documentation on how to use it. You can install it by using npm as well. You can import using React and stuff, but we will we will be using just JavaScript. So in order to use just JavaScript here, we need to, we need to get a library. So the library is located in the dist dist folder, and it's hover hover effect und.js. So usually I'm just doing on old fashioned. I click on the row and I copy the whole thing from here, and I'm gonna create a new file in my folder, and this file is going to be hover. Um, Let's see hover effect.js and I'm gonna paste everything here I will save it and I will close it and then after that I'm gonna import it below these two other libraries so I'm gonna have script source and I have hover over JS like this and there's gonna be another file I'm gonna create a new a new JavaScript file which is going to be app.js and I'm going to import this file here as well. So I'll have script app.js like this. I'm going to save everything. 
and now in my app.js here is um, actually I, I will I forgot we should I have to add some I have to this apps app um, class HTML class or CSS class needs to have some parameters some CSS parameters it needs to have at least a height so in, I'm gonna create a new file now name it style CSS <clears throat> and here I'm gonna Uh, I'm gonna add a height to my app and this height is gonna be let's say 900 pixels with 100% and the max width is is going to be 700 pixels. I'll save it and I will just import it in my HTML file so I'll have link CSS and the style CSS of the file. I'm gonna save it and in my app.js if you look at the documentation um, uh, where is that here in the documentation they have stuff on how to start get started and everything it was their object so they have a new object which is new hover effect and then here they have all these uh, parameters so this is what I'm gonna do here I'm gonna have new hover effect and here we will have the parent, which in our case is app. So we have document dot query selector, and here I have dot app comma and intensity. Intensity. Let's make it zero point one comma. We have image one. This is the this is where the first image is. So my and it's however you name it, but my image is located. In the same folder and I name it image one dot jpeg so I have image one dot jpeg and there is also image two and my image two is image two dot jpeg as well so I have like this uh, and then the third the third element is the angle of this animation so you can change the angle you can pick different angles by uh, using this formula this is a, there's this angle attributes oops and we have math dot pi divided by let's say eight and then now is the displaced displacement image because here they have the displacement image this is the image animation that's making that transition so we have this placement can misspell it. Okay, so this displacement image. You know what? I'm just gonna copy it from here because it's displacement image. That's how it's called. All right, I misspelled it. I think I misspelled it. Okay, so here is where my animation image is, and I don't have it saved it yet. So um, if we go back to their main folder on, on the repository and if we go under images they have a few here the one I want to use now is the height map png it's um, I like this one more than any others but they have also you can you can pick they have also stripe you know it looks like this um, and we will try a few of them okay okay let me get the height map and I click download and from here I'm saving it in the same folder so the same name I will save it like that and if I open this uh, if I open my uh, editor I'm gonna pull, uh, type in here height map dot png like this All right and now here I'm gonna open this file with a live server so I open with live server live server is a if you're using VS Code, it's an extension. You can find it under extensions. <clears throat> if you go under extensions, you type in live server like this, and you click on it, install it. You know, if you don't have it, it's going to ask you to restart your VS Code. So do that, and you'll have it. And then you'll just right click on your HTML file, and we'll, you'll say, you'll click on open the, well, with live server. This is going to open up, open up a new tab, but for some reason, it doesn't my new code it doesn't work so I'm, I'm curious why 
mm, nice new status code, uh, live reload and enable, one or more images are missing, uh, hover effect, JS. Okay. Hmm, there's something going on here. Okay, so this needs to be image G. You probably already guys, you probably saw it already, but sorry, sorry about that. So whenever we hover over, we see that this stuff works here. Now we can play around with some some of these parameters. Let's say we want to add intensity. Let's put five. All right, we'll save it, and we see the intensity here, which is really cool. And we can also play around with the angle so let's put this intensity 0 0.1 angle let's say um, 20 and save it or let's actually get rid of it because there's a default angle as well you see it goes from right to left now. all right uh, what else was there they also had Oh, let's try a different image. Let's try a stripe, stripe one. Let's see what stripe one is. Okay, this is the stripe one. So I'm gonna download, and I'm gonna save it in the same way I have this one. Except this is stripe one. So I will put here stripe one. I will save it. Go back. This is how it looks like with the stripe, which is also cool. And they also have different others. They have stripe. PNG there and they also have stripe uh, stripe one stripe stripe one MUL so you can use a bunch of stuff you can use try all of them and see which one fits your needs um, I don't know if there's anything else I wanted to cover because I think that's that's it for this video let's go to the main one let's see what else they have there Ah, that's kind of it guys they don't really they have some um, uh, parameters here you can use um, you see they have also angle one you can you can play around with this all oh, speed speed in and speed out let's let's try the speed in uh, let's add speed in and what kind of value is it speed in float 1.6 speed of the inbound animation in seconds so okay so let's put let's say for example one second here and the uh, speed out is going, let's say, where is that speed out? Let's put 10 seconds. Let's save it, let's go back and let's see what happens. Yeah, it's very slow. But you see how it works, so that's the most important thing, guys. All right, guys, thank you so much for your attention. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe for my channel, and I will see you guys in the next video.